moving the ATOS 120A antenna. That's what's coming up next on El Cara Ham Radio. Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP. I've had a project in mind for my truck for quite some time now, and that was moving the ATOS 120A antenna from the uh, rear driver's side door uh, back to uh, back by the tailgate. Uh, I've had this antenna since I had my first Tacoma, which uh, sadly died in a, in a mud pit in an off-roading uh, incident. Uh, but the antenna has worked well, and I had it on the K400 uh, antenna mount, lip mount antenna mount, that you can use for your hood, uh, for the trunk of a car, and for the doors of a car, depending on how they're designed at least. Uh, this location has worked well on both trucks, but I came across the Rago fabrication antenna mount and decided I wanted to give it a try and mount it back towards the rear of my truck. So that was the project that I've been uh, thinking about and uh, acquiring some, some pieces and parts for. And now that the weather has turned and it's uh, getting warmer and nicer and the days are a little bit longer, I decided it was time to go ahead and tackle this project. So that's what we're going to take a look at this week, uh, is moving the ATOS and, uh, and seeing if it actually works in the new location. So we're going to uh, show a little bit about what we did for this uh, project here in the next segments, and we'll bring you folks right back. All right, so here we can see the two-part Rego fabrication. Uh, they call it a CB antenna mount. Uh, you can use it to mount really almost any kind of antenna you want to. But I will say that the uh, mounting hole is sized for the sort of uh, quarter 28 uh, type uh, fire stick, you know, single uh, antenna mounts that you have for, uh, for CB and, and other things. So I did use a drill bit, as we'll see later, to open it up just a little bit. So we're just taking a look at it here. One of the things I liked about this mount, uh, other than, of course, it's custom made for a third gen Tacoma in the uh, rear at the tailgate, but it's actually made of stainless steel and then it's powder coated. So I used a Dremel and some, uh, some uh, wheels there to uh, expose some bare metal on this where it's gonna be touching the truck. Uh, but again, it's stainless steel, so it shouldn't uh, rust or anything anyway. I'm also going to uh, use those uh, sanding discs on the truck where it's gonna mount in just to make sure it should get a good solid ground to the truck because that is one thing about the ATOS antennas for anybody who's owned one or anybody who's thinking about it. Uh, you have to have a really good ground to the vehicle so that it will tune correctly. So here we are looking at the uh, driver's side. They do make this for passenger side or driver's side. I decided to get it for the driver's side so I can just see it operating in my, uh, my uh, left-hand mirror. And you can see the three bolts where it's going to be going. So those are just, I believe they were 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, bolts, you just take them out. You're gonna reuse them, so don't throw them away. And again, I use the sanding disc with the Dremel to just clear out some bare metal uh, right on where those uh, are gonna go, just like I did on the, uh, the mount itself. And I, then I also did something else. I also used some anti-seize grease, uh, but it's copper-based anti-seize grease. Uh, so you've got clear uh, type NICs, you've got the sort of silver type stuff, and this is the copper stuff, uh, which helps uh, maintain connectivity. Uh, so uh, I put a little bit of that on each of those locations, and uh, then we uh, mounted uh, the, uh, the CB antenna mount back onto the truck. Now again, I had the uh, K400S, uh, in this case, heavy duty mount, uh, on my truck for several years, and it worked very well. Uh, it's uh, designed for that kind of thing. It can rotate and swivel. So again, whether you're going to put it on the hood of a car, the trunk of a car, or vertically on the door like I did, uh, it can swivel and, and adjust to all those settings. Uh, it worked well, but I decided to change things because I did get in and out of that rear passenger door quite a bit and always had the antenna uh, kind of wobbling around and, and banging around. So one of the things I got to go with the uh, the Rago mount was this heavy-duty spring uh, mount with a, with a cable. Of course, the K400 comes with a cable that you can uh, snake into the, the vehicle and attach to the radio. Uh, so I got this heavy-duty uh, spring mount. 
because I do some off-roading and, and um, uh, looking to get into some overlanding and camping and stuff. And uh, just wanted it to uh, have some flexibility and hopefully not snap off the first time I forget to take it down and catch it with a, a branch. So here it is mounted up. Uh, now, I will say this. If you see the red highlight behind the uh, the Rago uh, logo R that's cut into that mount, the red highlight doesn't come with it, folks. <laughs> that's a, a custom addition that I, I made to that mount with some uh, anodized aluminum. Uh, here's a, a step drill bit. I used the 11 16th uh, level on that bit to open up the hole. Again, not too big a deal with this particular mount because it is actually made of stainless steel. Uh, was able to mount the, uh, the heavy-duty spring and bring that uh, coax through there and uh, you know in preparation for running it. So the, the other end of the coax uh, comes apart so you can slip it through the hole and then it has the, the mounting hardware which actually as we'll see in a moment has a lock nut and a, a lock washer on that. Uh, that's just how it came but uh, I certainly don't think that is going to hurt anything. So now you can kind of see it's a the sort of nylock and the and the spring uh, lock washer. Mounted it up good and tight, ran the cabling into the truck and um, hooked it up. So here we can see the original K400S mounted on the door and then uh, we've got the new Rago mount on the back by the tailgate with the ATOS already attached. And uh, we're going to uh, check it out and do some testing here in just a few minutes. Make sure it tunes okay. Again, you have to have a really good ground uh, to the, the body and the chassis of the car to make sure it'll tune okay. And I've got the FD891 installed, of course. Done videos on that. And we're going to see how well it works. Uh, so the install was, uh, everything was pretty straightforward. Not too big a deal. But, uh, and here we see it tuning a little bit. But let's go ahead and make a few contacts and see how it's working at the new location. Kilo Yankee 4, Charlie Kilo Papa Mobile. QSL, QSL. QSL, I've got you 5353 five, Central Kentucky. Thanks for the park. Absolutely. Here's Kilo Echo 5, Yankee, Yankee, Charlie, Fort Florida. And uh, we're going to take some more calls here. Uh, Thank you, Florida. Kilo 8, November, Whiskey, November. You heard that. Kilo Yankee 4, Charlie, Kilo Papa, Mobile. Okay, I hear this. Was it a mobile station that I heard? Kilo Yankee 4, Charlie, Kilo Papa, Mobile. QSL. Uh, I got the five nine in the first down here, sir. All right, I've got you five four five four Central Kentucky. Thank you for five four in Central Kentucky. Um, thanks for being out there and uh, and searching for Florida there. Can't do it without you guys. You're all great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, seventy two to South Florida. Thank you for that, Kilo. Muy obrigado. Buenos días para ti. Muy bien, la familia. Un abrazo. Y de aquí seventy seven, London, America, USA. Kilo Yankee 4, Charlie Kilo Papa. Kilo Yankee 4, Charlie Kilo Papa. QSL, I've got you 5959 in Central Kentucky. All right, folks, that's going to wrap this one up. You know, the ATOS antenna isn't a perfect antenna, but it is very handy. It uh, is not real large and works really quite well. I have reached um, a lot of places around the world into Europe and into South America, into uh, South Africa and different places. Um, and if you happen to have a Yesu radio such as the 891, FT891, which is a very nice mobile HF radio, uh, and maybe even uh, com 
you know, pair it up with the Rago fabrication antenna mount for the back of your truck. They make several variations of that. I have a third gen Tacoma. Uh, you can have a very convenient and very easy and nice to use mobile radio. And uh, I do spend a lot of time on the highways, on the interstate. And uh, so I have enjoyed having more than just uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters, which I have as well. So uh, just something to consider, but it's worked well for me. So that'll wrap this one up. This is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. We'll see you folks in the next video, 73.